everybody, my name is Spammels and welcome back to what should be the final episode of Titanic Adventure Out of Time. All of our chips have fallen into place like some sort of house of cards. Willy has hidden the notebook at the top of the fourth funnel. It was spotted there by Max whilst there was in Cherbourg. So we're gonna go get it. We've also got the three other essential items needed to get the perfect ending. Everything is ready to go. So so long as we don't lose anything, we should be just fine. And so without any more stalling, Let's begin! Welcome back to the game. Here we are in the first class smoking room overlooking approach of a new world that was on board the Olympic, but no one's judging. Anyway, we're gonna make our way down to the engine room. Oh, hi, Mr. Lambeth. I hope that gripping poverty doesn't come to bite you in the bottom. Back to the engine room, and then we're gonna start climbing that funnel, and so long as nothing bad happens, we should be all hunky-dory. Now, the purser has the painting, he's got the necklace, and he has the rubaiyat. All we have in our handbag here, we've got our, our ring that Vili gave to us. We have a key for our trunk, we have a telegram, and we have this pen that makes pen stuff happen. Looks like that. It's a gas pen. Hadouken? Oh! One injection of that. Oh, two injections and you're dead. Three. Now you're being greedy. Smevels, darling, I'm about to leave. Let's have a final chat because I don't know if I ever see you again after this. May I be of assistance? Do you survive the sinking? I don't remember. I hope he does. I don't think I've ever thought about that before. Does Smevels survive? He deserves to. Good night. I bloody love him. He's like perfectly voiced, perfectly cast. It just works. Scotland Road. Now, there is another way to the engine room. With this, this doorway here. But it's locked. Unfortunately for me. However, Penny Pringle, she holds the secrets for our desired location. There's Penny Pringle's cabin. Should we have one last chat? No, let's crack on with it. We got stuff to do. Down we go. Oh, and we're going to head into the turbine room. Head forwards. Oh, do we head forwards? I don't rightly remember. We'll find out now. Yes, we're going to head forwards, everybody. A Dukin. You, sir, I fixed your engines. Leave me alone. Oh, she's still running rough. You're so clever last time, you care to have a go again? Do I care to have a go again? No, I don't! You should fix your own engine! No, is it? Then you can't pass. Uh-uh. Not while I got my engine troubles. You are a real piece of work. You know that, right? Bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like your boy Spammels is going to have to save the day again. There's a gauge showing the turbine's power output. The needle's got to move into the green zone. I had this working fantastic. Why did you touch it? Who said you can touch it? There you go. Your boy Spammels knows a thing or two about playing with things. Yay. All right, let me in your bloody engine rooms. Here we go. The reciprocating engines, everybody. Well, we head up here towards our funnel. I could swear there used to be a viewing platform. Okay. Oh, it's Vlad. Hi, buddy. You had interfered in my affairs for the last time. You are the one who stole the ruby yacht. And Sasha's painting. I know you have it. Prepare to die at the hands of Serbia. No, Serbia. We can talk about... Hey, I wasn't... Serbia, we can talk about this. <laughs> Left, right, oh, uppercut, in the face, all of the face. Take this, Mortal Kombat. Oh, in the middle. Oh, there you go, the kick happens. Oh, that face. You can tell they just told the actor, pretend someone kicked you in the bollocks. <laughs> hey, Vlad, do it again. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> and it ends. Yeah, Rocky style. Oosh. Oh, silly, Vlad. Right, pardon me. That right there was the best bit of kind of animation you'll ever see in this whole game. Now, this bit, we're inside the funnel. There's the fourth funnel. And it's kind of like a puzzle. Some of these stairwells are going to be blocked. To be honest, you just keep going until you hit a dead end. And then keep going again. Like, who is storing cargo here? Oh, the cargo hold is full. Don't worry, Pete. Go to the fourth funnel. There's plenty of space. Oh, Frank, you're amazing, you are. How do I get it up there? You carry it. And in no time at all, your boy Spammels had made his way to the top of the fourth funnel. And with it, oh, a lovely sky. In the middle, if I keep going around. There's the notebook. Can I please see it? Oh, yes. Look at that view. If only the ocean was animated and smoke was coming at the funnels. Oh, well. Pick us, copy, choose us. Let's continue. Something's about to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Our bag has to be empty for a reason. You're about to see the reason. Notebook. Oh, it's Seitzel. I think that notebook is for me. 
please. I see you've played Knife Spirini before. How did you find me? I cannot tell. The agents have our secrets. You was one of the boxers, weren't you? On the way up! So you want the notebook, do you? Thank you for finding it. Billy would have appreciated your effort. Cold, isn't it? I've maintained climate is the crucible of civilization. Culture blooms in the temperate. It is the tropic and arctic zones of which breed barbarism. Russia, for instance. So Willy was working with the Russians all along! In that notebook are names of anti-Tsarist Russians. Revolutionaries living in exile. Germany supports these men. <laughs> they are called communists. We provide assistance, small courtesies, and, uh, wherever possible, financial encouragement. One of these men is moving to Krakow soon. Charming city, Krakow. We urge Willy to befriend such types in Vienna. He kept a list of such men for us. Or oh, so I thought. He was a Russian agent who was going to turn those names over to the Okrana, the Russian secret service. Why do bad guys always tell you the entire plan before they kill you? Only to ultimately be foiled and then I know everything. And if the Russian police got their names, what would happen, Zytel? Dave would kill them. Secretly, of course, but kill them just the same. Think. With the revolutionaries all dead, the Tsar would be secure on his throne. That should not be allowed. Not when there are wars to be planned for. Now then, the notebook. Dear God, Zytel! Iceberg! Ooh, bump! This was the coolest thing in the whole wide world when I first played this. Oh, it's like on the knife's edge. Oh, what a shot that is. And away she turns. Oh, no! <laughs> an iceberg. They've run into an iceberg. The idiots. I will be taking that notebook now. The idiots. Okay, you want the notebook. Don't worry about it. I got your notebook, okay? I got something for you. Let me let me get my purse out. Hang on. Uh, no notebook for you. You're having a pen. My mother gave it to me. It's been a family heirloom ever since. Please have a look at it. Check out the color it is. Oh. What? Ah! <laughs> oh. I love it. Can I search his body? There's no searching our bodies. He could take his gun at least. That's okay. We've survived this time. My pen is gone, but I have the notebook. Let's get back to Penelope Pringle and inform her of the deadly situation that has just transpired. Wow, you sure do get down quicker than you get up. Penelope, I'm coming. You see, my friend, we will all meet the devil eventually. <laughs> Not my notebook! April 15th, 1912, aboard the RMS Titanic, 5 past 1 in the morning. Waking up back here in my cabin to that familiar tone of a smevels rapping at my door. I'm coming! That's a nasty bump. You'll live. But for how long is the question? We've struck an iceberg. The incompetence, the idiots. That was an hour ago. The captain's called women and children to the boats. It's serious. She's sinking by the bow. She's got about an hour left, maybe a little more. The Rubaiyat, and a fine time I had getting it back from the purser. It's safer with you now. I've the painting. Take it. Here's your necklace from the purser. The Serbian, Vlad, he must have the notebook. The notebook lists the names of Russian radicals. The Germans actively encourage Lenin and other revolutionaries. Everyone keeps telling me about this notebook. I've heard it three times now. I know! Stop showing me things, but thank you for getting my stuff. You must recover that notebook. This information is vitally important to our Russian allies. I know you're hurt, but the Titanic's sinking. It's not going to be easy. The lifts have been shut down for good. We must get the evidence off the ship before it goes. So, up we go. Now get cracking. Bye, Penelope Pringle. Right. Up until this point, the game has kind of had frozen time. Time was advancing, but after key events. But from this point onwards, well, the clock is legit ticking down. And the last lifeboat leaves at 2 a.m. We've got to be done and off this tub before that happens. Things we've got to do. Get back the notebook. Now, I know we're going to need a couple of items to make that happen. So the first stop is going to be the first class lounge. I want to bump into Miss Lighthome, Lighthouse. Like, I've forgotten her bloody name. Willie's lady. If you've come to get me to leave, I'm not going. I'm not leaving Willie. I want to stay near him on the ship. 
He's dead. He's as cold as an iceberg. We met here in the lounge the first night out. He introduced himself. Willie was so kind. Not like Mama's friends. They just want our money. I'm staying with him. But then you're gonna be dead, you city woman. Go up to the lifeboats. We went for a walk that night on deck. There were so many stars, just like tonight. I told him you can't see the stars in New York. The lights burn too bright. I told him to go to Central Park. I was going to take him to the park to show him the stars. Here, take this shawl. I don't need it. If you get to New York, visit the park. That's where you see stars. That's where I wanted to take Willie. Goodbye. To steal a joke from my first playthrough, I shall never forget you! <laughs> okay, well, she's delusional. She's not listening to a single bit of, of reasoning. I'm like, get to the lifeboat! She's like, really liked hamburgers. The ship's sinking! Do you remember that time Willie saw the bird in the tree? She's just not thinking. She's just in a state of disbelief and shock. Put that in there. Go away. Now, with that in our possession, we can get back down to the engine rooms and have a chat with uh, Vlad about getting him off this ship because he's going to want to get off. And you know, we've got stuff he wants. The water's on E-Deck. Get up top. Fine! I will find another way down. Oh, the grand staircase. It is a very beautiful staircase. The ship is extremely beautiful. It's incredibly tragic what happened to the Titanic. I've said it many times before, but if I ever became a millionaire, I would incorporate this into my home like that would be the centerpiece of my house well how about that everybody lifeboats are going over the side the davits are out people are hanging around and we are indeed going down by the bow making our way back to the stern hub up all right stairwell oh there's gonna be a fellow here that stops me going isn't there i think there is he's like hey we're holding back the second here he is nobody's allowed above this deck those are orders last thing we need's a riot if you go down there, I can't guarantee you'll come back. It's dangerous down there. Stand aside, you fool! I must go! My people need me! I'll take my chances. I'll try to remember you on the way up. Good luck! You better remember me! I fixed your engine twice! Oh, you two! Oh, God! Mrs. Compton, she's stolen my baby! I was to meet Mr. Compton, but she showed up instead demanding the letter. I, I let her hold the baby so I could get my hands free. I let her, and she took him. She told the steward that he was hers. He wouldn't let me follow her to first class. She's leaving with my baby. Take the letter. Find her. See if she'll trade the baby for it. Please, you're our only hope. Get that baby for Mrs. Conklin. Trade the letter. You know what? I don't know if I have enough time for that, but I would like to know what this letter is all about. My dear sir, it is with both a sense of urgency and discretion that I write to you. Neither the board nor the London office know what I reveal to you now. The poor quality of our mill steel now being used in the construction of the new White Star Line of Titanic. My analysis has found a high sulfur content in our steel, making the metal likely the fragment in the event of a collision or accident. They're playing into the weak steel theory. That's dumb. Don't go down that rabbit hole. It's a city rabbit hole. We're going to get our primary mission done and I will consider saving the baby. Keep up Scotland Road. The captain wants everyone up top. Okay, no need to shout at me, Mr. Oh, no. I'll be too late. What a sight. <laughs> It is still really cool and awesome. Oh, the water's on the forward well deck. Stand back. Ladies and gentlemen, maintain order. Women and children board first. Prepare to swing out. Lifeboat away, sir. The lifeboats are going. There's a sense of urgency. The music is shifting to show that we have running out of time. We're nearly done. We are nearly there. Turbine room dead ahead. Right, Vlad is just below us. He better give us back the notebook. Or there's gonna be hell to pay. Oh, Vlad, what have you done to Sasha? And Sasha. Did you kill him? Yes. Sasha cared only for himself. Not Serbia. Not the Black Hand. This is war. Deserters are shot. Like dogs. Maybe you come for the notebook. The one the German wanted? Maybe you want this. The English Lord's necklace. It is mine to sell the money for the black hand. Then you will see somewhere, sometime within a month, in a year, we strike. We will start a fire, a fire that will destroy the Austrian oppressors, destroy Europe, and all Serbs will know freedom. I must leave. 
I must get on a lifeboat. Once again, I must ask for your help. Find a way to let me board a lifeboat unnoticed. Women and children first is the rule. You knocked me out, stole my notebook, and now you want my help. After you just murdered somebody. And that necklace is fake, but I'm not telling you that because then you might get upset. I can get you into first class, mate. It's cool. I got you covered, fam. What? How? Disguise yourself as a woman with this shawl. Guys, no. I die like a man. You're foolish. Drowning ain't gonna help your cause. You can get me into the first class? To the boats? What can I give you? The notebook, if you please. Never. It is for Serbia. <laughs> Quickly, what do you take? I want the notebook! Take it and give me. <laughs> give it to me. If I disguise myself, I can reach the boats. The sea, it's coming in. And with that, Vlad was gone. The notebook was once again mine. And I have everything. Let's get off this ship. Goodbye, Sasha. You'll be floating with the fishies in a second. The fishies float. They kind of suspend themselves. Never mind. All right, back up. The dude better remember me. Now, the baby, how are we doing on the clock? Oh, no. We are running out of time. Okay, you know what? We can save game before attempting to do the whole baby bit. But I, I promise nothing. Hello, sir. You made it. Now get up on the boat deck. Last thing we need's a riot. Now get up on the boat deck. Right you are, buddy. You made it. He remembered the face. Good job, you. As a, a male gentleman. Oh, Penelope. I have the Rubaiyat. Good job. We need to get all these objects off the ship safely. How are we going to get the artifacts off the ship? The sailors are giving priority to women and children. If worse comes to worse, give me the evidence. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. There are still quite a few boats left. Could I just give you the items anyway? I'm going to save game real quick. Hang on. Okay, look for a babby. Hello, priesty person. Babby, anybody seen a babby? You are not the babby lady. Oh, hi. Are you babby lady? Hello, Officer Morrow. I say, old bean. Absolute madhouse, don't you think? People running hither and thither. No organization. No plan of attack. Henry doesn't think the situation calls for panic. Lunatics! All of them! Running about like rabbits with a stoat at the hole! The lapse in social order is absolutely shocking! Boats! Ha! Huh. If I were captain! Such people! They're not dressed for the first cabin! Like those two immigrants on the second class stairwell! Really! Something should be done! The woman's quite upset! Sodding foreigners! I can't possibly get in these boats! I agree! Packing the women off in such crowded quarters! Frightfully cramped! Like tinned mullet. The Titanic is perfectly safe, isn't it? I say, I'm in need of a gin. Not now, Henry, not now. The officer there, he wants me in the boat. They say the smoking room is still open. Goodness, I do believe I hear running water. Perhaps we can play a few hands with that Frenchman. Henry, I do think we should stay here with the boats. Blast it all, Ribena. Pitch yourself in. I say, old bean, coming with... Oh, I can get off the ship right now. I think this is one of the only options I get to leave the ship. I can go with them with all the items, get our perfect ending. Rescuing the baby is not contingent to getting the best ending. And that baby will survive. If I bring the baby back to them, well, it's probably going to die in the sinking. Could use a gin. Shut your face. I'm thinking about things that I don't want to think about. We've been doing this the entire time for the perfect ending. I've got the opportunity to get the perfect ending. We're taking it. I'm sorry the baby is going to survive the lady and man, man are gonna die. Ugh. Yes, do get in. We so enjoy the company. Hoist a leg, old bean. In you go. Tell them we did our best. Tell them. Even now, I think this is so cool. Not cool that the ship's sinking, but it's the animation that the phone and falling. It.
And with that, everybody, she was gone. There were some graphic moments in that cinematic, seeing the dead body through the porthole, hearing the pure aggression of the ship foundering as it's roaring down. Not many Titanic games actually capture in a cinematic way an ending quite like this. Back in London, my book of memories. Vlad left the sinking ship without the Rubiot, nor did he have the real Lambeth diamonds. The Black Hand never got its funds, money intended to finance a wave of terrorism across the Balkans. One of the intended targets, the heir to the Austrian throne, Archduke Franz Ferdinand. His murder might have started a war. We were lucky. We got peace instead. As for the painting, it left with me. <laughs> the plans proved useless. In the month following the sinking, the War Office scrapped the proposed deployments in a cost-cutting measure. But the canvas? <laughs> As the only artifact saved from the Titanic, the painting became famous. Along with its creator, a rather excitable Austrian named Adolf Hitler, who makes a lucrative career to this day, peddling overpriced alpine vistas to the carriage trade. I left the ship with Willie's notebook. Eventually, it found its way to the Russians. The Tsar's secret police were grateful, and the names Stalin, Lenin, and Trotsky vanished from history. The communist revolution aborted. I didn't really realize it then, but that night 30 years ago was one of history's most crucial. Though the Titanic carried 1,500 to the death, a peaceful world would be their epitaph. Our mission was a success. With no wars or bloody revolutions to derail us, prosperity and progress has flowed into every corner of the globe bringing humanity a security known only to the privileged few before the Titanic sailed. Today, on April 14th, 1942, I am leaving the service to retire in a world at peace. One can only imagine how different it could have been, would have been, if we had failed. And there you go, the end, everybody. We did it. The perfect ending, the greatest of endings. World peace, nobody died, everyone was happy, and they had salad days in 1942, apparently. That was super fun to revisit. I gotta click through this. Bah! More credits! <laughs> anyway, I really hope you have enjoyed this. <laughs> Uh, it's been such a pleasure to replay it. Oh, we never found out about Smevels. That they, they don't say if he survived or not. Can I get a double oosh? Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm being too silly now. Right, well, as I said, that was Satanic Adventure Out of Time. The 2019 replay had been three years since I played this before. I hope this playthrough was enjoyable to watch. I feel like I'm very different to I was three years ago, and I think this playthrough will be entirely different. We've got a different ending, that's for sure. I'm really happy. Like, we didn't really mess up. There was only really one moment where we got a little bit lost, trying to work out how to get Willy to actually die. But after that, it was just a roller coaster to the end. I think in total, there's like nine different endings to this game. So it might be worth one day exploring that. You're doing a video about the different endings. And there's loads of side stories that we didn't really get to touch on. Like we didn't really speak to Max very much. We didn't do the card shark deal the person. We didn't get the letter and the babby returns to Lady Lambeth peoples and such. Did Lady Georgia and Mr. Lambeth get off? There are many questions that remain, but they'll have to wait for another time because this is the end. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. If you have, leave a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. And while you're at it, follow me on Twitter and tell me what you think about this game. On that bombshell, Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.